going on, people? It's the Xbox 448. And today, it seems that DirectX 12 is making news again. Between yesterday and today, I've seen a couple articles uh, talking about DirectX 12 and the rise of Tomb Raider on the PC. Uh, after the latest patch for the game on the PC, it seems that uh, a Reddit user named Olek, O-L-E-K, has found some interesting things when it came to this game. Uh, from what I can read, it said, um, you know, they recently received a patch, various fixes, improvements, and a new graphics option called the Spectacular Reflection Quality. But that's not all that it was added. Um, there's been some recently discovered files by Olek for DirectX 12 support. And uh, not only that, there was a hidden DirectX 12 option as well. Now, this caused a lot of people to kind of speculate what was going on. And one of the things I saw was, oh, you know, they were going to make the game with DirectX 12, but they decided not to. They were going to make this option uh, for a setting, you know, DirectX 12 setting, but they decided not to. Which is why when you click on these files, it doesn't do anything, okay? I think it's the other way around. I think that they, you know, made the game and now they are going back with this API and utilizing it and they are going to make a setting for DirectX 12. And you'll be able to turn it on and see the performance. Um, makes sense seeing that this is a new API. Uh, now, when it comes to the X1, this makes me think about the X1 version. Was the X1 version made with DirectX 12? I, me personally, now, I don't think so. I thought one of the reasons why they did this in the beginning, how it came out first on the X1 and then to the PC, I thought they were going to use this game as a showcase to show how easy it is to port over games uh, from one platform to another. And, you know, I'm a man. I'll admit when I was wrong. I, I don't believe that this is the case now. Uh, but it does look like that, Incoming you know, in the future, and this is what I'm calling here, in the future... DirectX 12, there will be a patch for the X1 as well. And it looks like the PC is going to get uh, DirectX 12 for this game, you know, possibly soon. But this shows that the game wasn't made with DirectX 12. And that that's kind of crazy to me because the X1 version looks absolutely amazing. All right. So, you know, the people who talk about the X1 being, you know, an underpowered machine, just look what... It, Look what Crystal Dynamics did with uh, Rise of Tomb Raider. And, you know, if they didn't implement this new API, then they did this with the existing API, which is even more incredible. Not only that, I did see an article uh, talking about a tool with DirectX games called Visual Studio. The article basically describes how to use Visual Studio. And what Visual Studio does is it shows, uh, as you're, you know, making a game, developing a game, it shows the CPU usage, the GPU usage, it shows how stable the game is performing and such. Now, the reason why I'm talking about this article is because they showed a game running absolutely fine, and then they did one thing, one thing, to make this game run incredibly crappy. And the only thing that they did was they switched off the ability for uh, the multiple cores on the CPU to talk to the GPU. They switched on only having one core talk to the GPU, and all of a sudden, this game went below 30 frames per second. It was stuttering, it was crashing, it was a, a horrible mess. And all they did was that one thing. Now, think about that. So, with DirectX 12 uh, as the new API, you know, for games made on the X1, one of the big things is, you know, the multiple cores of the CPU can talk to the GPU. Uh, some people said, you know, that might not mean that much of a benefit. But when they did this in, in this article, when they did this for this article of Visual Studio, all they did was that one thing, switched it back to the way games were made before. And this game uh, basically failed like that. But when... The multiple cores could talk to the GPU at the same time. This game ran incredibly smooth. So you can say what you want about DirectX 12, about the X1 and stuff like that. But this goes to show that there are going to be improvements, you know, to games. The games are going to run smoother. Uh, you know, they are 
this API will decrease the, the overhead on the CPU and it gives uh, the developers a chance to add in more things. You know, for those pixel counters out there, you know, the, they can add, you know, more pixels. So this way, you know, that 1080p that, you know, a lot of people seem to be in love with this generation, you know, these developers will be able to hit it with that solid frame rate because that's what that's what Microsoft is concerned about. It's the performance of the games. They want to make sure their games perform. They're not going to sacrifice game performance just to get that magical 1080p. All right, but these are my thoughts. I am going to link the articles in the description below. There's going to be three of them. As usual, I want to know what you guys think. Hit up that comment section. Uh, let me know what you think about this information. You know, check out the articles. Uh, definitely hit that thumbs up if you like the video. And as always, subscribe. But as for now, this is the Xbox 448, and I am definitely signing off.